Hey guys, welcome back to the Conservative Patriot. My name is Keith. This is episode number two of Stuff I Think About. And I'm doing it today while I'm driving because I have some meetings to go to and I'm going to be in the car for a little bit. So this is what I'm doing. So sit back, hang on, hold tight, and enjoy the random thoughts that come out of my brain. So my wife convinced me to watch this documentary on Netflix the other day called Game Changers. And it's about how um, a it's, it was basically comparing like a, um, a diet consisting of animal meat versus a plant-based diet and the effects it had on your body. Uh, more specifically, they were really focusing on... Um, athletes and and how it affected performance because there's always been this stigma if you don't eat meat you don't get your proteins from meat then you're either less of a man or you're not going to perform as well um and it was fascinating because all of these elite athletes and there was like a ton of nfl players and um like world strongest man runners cyclists all kinds of athletes and they were like at the top of their game and they're not like you know no name athletes either um and it was it was and then i did a study with firefighters um at a firehouse and i think it was brooklyn new york and just like a seven day challenge and it was it was interesting um so that being said i haven't had any meat from an animal in this is day five i feel great We'll see what happens. I don't want to die. So I would, it kind of freaked me out a little bit. And uh, um, taking a more um, active role in more of a, a plant-based diet, don't think less of me. I want to live a long time and keep espousing my knowledge to you. So this is how it's going to be for a little while. Anyways, check guys, check it out. Game Changers on Netflix. You don't have to watch it, but it was interesting to me. Um, I don't know. That's something that's on my mind. Is it me? Am I the only person? I'm probably not the only person that think this, but holy crud. Ainsley Earhart is hot with capital two T's. Good Lord, man. I love Fox and Friends in the morning. Hey, remember my last video? I told you guys that Hillary Clinton's gone off the reservation. She's absolutely nuts. Remember I said that she thought that Tulsi Gabbard is a, is a Russian asset? It, now it's like headline news everywhere. I think that if you cross Hillary Clinton, well, actually, it's probably proven, but if you cross Hillary Clinton, then you're you're done. You're you are um, enemy number one, and uh, you better watch your back because you know Tulsi Gabbard threw her support behind Bernie Sanders in the last election and didn't give it to Hillary Clinton, and look at what it's turning into now. Watch out, Tulsi. Although I don't think you're gonna be in the race much longer anyways, but while you're there, watch your back. Why Why do people put so many god darn bumper stickers on their car? They're just ruining the value of that car. And it's always not, it's always the same bumper stickers. I see them all the time. It's like, it's Bernie Sanders, and namaste and coexist and uh PETA and um all kinds of you know just crap that's it's liberals i never see really i mean i see trump bumper stickers don't get me wrong but it's never on the car it's always like on the window where you can scrape it off you put it on the car you're just ruining it i mean again common sense people Use your freaking brains. They're there for a reason. Don't put stupid bumper stickers on your car. Then again, liberals don't have common sense, so it doesn't surprise me. Okay. This is funny. This is one of my favorite sayings of all time. It's and and I and I use it because I think it's funny, and if it offends somebody, well, I'm sorry. But I think and I and I use it a lot because A it, it works pretty much in any situation that is messed up. And and B, it's 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 funny. 
and I don't know if there's a C or a D, but I just like it. So this is one of my favorite sayings where when things are kind of like, don't make any sense, you, 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 you just kind of go, uh, you know, uh, you know, I don't know, uh, that guy or this person or that subject, man, that's, that's useless. They're useless. Like tits on a ball. I don't know. I think it's funny. Useless like tits on a ball. God damn. That cracks me up. Why do I keep seeing grown women, like grandmotherly women, with purple and pink streaks in their hair? What the hell is going on? I wonder how many of my subscribers like The Grateful Dead. I like The Grateful Dead. And every time I say that, people think, they look at me like, wow, you like The Grateful Dead? You have really short hair, you were in the army. You like The Grateful Dead? Is that like a, a stereotype or something? Am I, be, am I being stereotyped? Should I like listen to like Perry Como or something? I'm like, come on. I like rock and roll and I like the Grateful Dead and Dave Matthews and Fish and all these other jam bands, Almond Brothers, all kinds of music. Just because I'm a Republican doesn't mean I have to sit there and listen to like freaking Elvis Presley, which I don't like at all. Okay, that's another random thought. Who likes the Grateful Dead? Who likes the Almond Brothers? Anybody? Tell me in the comments what your, your favorite bands are. Because I'm sure we got a we got a few of us that are in the same mindset. Do you ever just go to a graveyard or a cemetery, whatever you call them? I call them graveyards or cemeteries, mostly cemeteries. Anyways, I know it's a it's a geographical thing what you call certain things, but or certain places. But do you ever just go to a cemetery and walk around and look at the headstones and think about? all the history that is right in one place, like just look at who these people were or are. It's fascinating to me. And people, some people think that I'm weird or I'm morbid because I'm, I, I, I you know, a cemetery to me is interesting um, from a, a historical perspective. Um, I don't know, I think they're, they're all very unique. And, and I live in New England, so there are some very old headstones um, I've seen them as far back as the late 1600s, which is, which is amazing to me to think like that's 400 years ago. Think about that. Just think about what has changed since that person lived and died in the area that you're at. It's, it's amazing to me. And I wonder what they would think about what's going on today. They'd probably freak out and lose their minds, but I don't know. It's always They're always interesting, fascinating. So my favorite cars have always been Saabs and Volkswagens. And my, my very first car was a Volkswagen Rabbit. And I don't really, the reason I'm saying this now is because I just saw another one. Um, just kind of sitting in, in some guy's yard, rotting away. Why would you let a car rot away like that? I mean, yeah, I get that you don't have, you know, certain things take precedence over time but damn if you're not gonna like use it or restore it or anything maybe just sell it to somebody who wants it don't just let it sit there and rot into the dirt that kind of upset me now i need to find a volkswagen rabbit that i can restore not really restore because i don't want that much of a project i always think that i want a project car and i got one i have a saab i have a 93 saab convertible which i absolutely love but when i got it I thought it didn't need as much as it does and now it's in my garage um, and I've done some work to it but I'm to the point where I just want I just want it to I want to drive it and it's not gonna happen because I think I kind of lost interest I don't know and I don't want to take up space and all that jazz so maybe if I get a Volkswagen Rabbit that runs and drives that would motivate me to like fix it up to the point where I like it better. You know what I mean? Like it's already running and driving. What can I do to enhance it? That's what I need. I need an enhancement car, like boob enhancement car for guys. That's what breast enhancements are for guys. They're cars and projects and toys. Okay. That was random, but I don't know. That's what I'm thinking about. Whoever decided that Republicans are red and Democrats are blue? I, I, where did that come from? I like blue. 
But I'm a Republican, so that means I have to like red. I don't understand. Red always seems to me like a more like evil, like uh, red. I think of like red China and Russia and communism. I don't want to be red. Let's switch it. I want to be blue. I don't want to be a Democrat. I just want our color changed. Maybe we can be green. No, that's Green Party. Never mind. Where to come from? Why are we red and not blue? That's not fair. I'm sure the Clintons had something to do with that shit. Okay, you want to hear a funny story? My dad's a little messed up. Like, his humor is kind of weird. And I think it's... I, I know for sure that I get a lot of my humor from him. But... So... If you guys are super sensitive, you might want to turn off the video right now. But he always has said, he always has said that if you take all of the um, foreskins from circumcised baby boys and you sew them together, you could make expandable luggage. Think about it. Oh, listen to this. I just saw this morning on Fox News that um, AOC has a challenger, a Republican challenger uh, for 2020. I believe her name is Sherry Murray. And I'm not, I think she lives in Queens, but she was on Fox News this morning. And guess what? She makes sense. Oh, I know why. Because she's, she's a conservative Republican and she's got a brain on her head. She's not AOC who thinks the world's going to end in 12 years. Oh, my God. Speaking of that, my son heard her say that and started to be like, what? He's like, is the world ending in 12 years? I'm like, no, only for the morons. Maybe they'll just disappear. Confucius say, if a man fly a plane upside down, he have crack up. All right, guys, got to get going. Hope you guys have a great rest of the day. Always remember to stay on the right side. Do me a favor, check out that Teespring link below. Check out that PayPal link if you want to donate to the Conservative Patriot. Buy me a cup of coffee or buy me lunch. That'd be awesome. And uh, I will talk to you guys on the next video. Have a great rest of the day. See ya.